Today we are playing a speed map. So I anticipate a fairly short map by Radapa. Um, I've never said that out loud. I, you know, I have no idea how to pronounce a consonant cluster like that. R D W P A. You all know Radapa. Anyway, this is, um, yeah, just a speed map. 108 kills, three items, two secrets. Uh, a, a conventional map, quote unquote. So we'll see what that means. I honestly, I didn't really expect to play a Radapa map who has some fairly unconventional tastes, so, uh, and, and I, and I tend to have pretty conventional tastes, so I would explain why I haven't gotten any maps from Radapa yet, but this one's supposed to be conventional, so we'll see what happens here. By the way, the description is it's an ancient palace set in a ginormous volcanic rift. So this right here looks like, um, run. Well, I don't know. I could probably kill two of them and... But there's an armor right there. Yeah, let's just go... Uh, let's just grab that. Uh-oh. Well, you don't want to do that. <laughs> That's what you call... Piss poor. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna try that the same way. Um, except hopefully not suck at any. Forgot about the switch. Yeah, a lot of switching going on as you pick up the weapons. There's like one potion there, it's kind of weird. So I like this little trap over- ooh, there we go. This little trap over here. Um, cause it's very natural. If you find yourself in kind of a hectic start, you're gonna think, well... There's armor there, I'll go get that, but oh, nope, that means more enemies. I think there's a Megasphere down over there. Um, anyway, this map, okay, it doesn't have any more name than RDSM1 underscore 2. 17, oh, I'm sorry, 108 kills, 3 items, 2 secrets. This is just a, uh, limit removing map. So I am on Crispy Doom. Um, yeah, obviously, so here's your ginormous volcanic rift, right? It's a little, it's a little bare, you know, it's, it's not, uh, the most exciting thing to look at when you have that many pixels of the same texture. At least if it's a vanilla texture, which it is, it's probably not gonna look terrific. Um, but, I'd, I'd like the geometry out there at least. This down here is kind of weird. I would expect that to be, like, an enemy box, a, uh... A trap, but usually that would just be untextured. So I don't know. Let's we'll see if we get out there later. There are two secrets. Strange as it seems, the health bonus appears to be one of them. Alright, so there's a door here and a switch there. Okay, maybe the switch opens the door. Yeah, that's not damaging, so. Oh, there's a revenant. Got some demons in front of you? No. There we go. <laughs> Why are they so confused? There you go. I knew there was a reason I left them alive.
So, uh, yeah, having seen a lot of the... A lot of, uh, commentary and stuff from Radapa. Seems he's a fan of infighting, which isn't really my thing. I tend to be a little more impatient. Believe it or not, <laughs> I'm being pretty patient in this map watching him try to kill that demon. Seems to be failing at it, though. Alright, there we go. So we'll see how that plays out. Well, okay, that, okay, so you can get over there at some point. And over there, obviously, that might be the other secret, though. There are only three items. There's a health bonus and a mega sphere, so that's two of them. Oh. Um. Got caught with my pants down there. By that, I mean the wrong weapon out. Well, now I can grab that, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you see that? I could just use a few other textures to make it look a little nicer, but... I think this is probably a combat-oriented map, which I believe is more Rodapa's concern than visual beauty. Alright, so... It's, uh, it's not, yeah, it's, it's got a nice little progression, pretty linear actually so far, but, uh... It's not like boxing you in linear, you know, you got this giant view of presumably where you're going to be there at some point and possibly where you're going to be way over there at some point. And here it's the same thing, you get all these views, probably going to go through those bars at some point, but for now, you got to do this little jump here, so. Oh, there's a little, that, yeah, there's a little staircase and a slime trail. Uh-oh. Oh no, I think I heard... I heard pain. So that ended up being actually pretty retreatable. It seemed like the best way to do it was actually fall into the lava and then teleport your way out and now you're behind the Hackademons. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate actually that I fell down there. I didn't really have to take the brunt of the fight then. But all in all, a pretty cool area. You got this little isthmus here that uh, can mess with you a little bit did mess with me, obviously I fell down. I'm not sure I would mind that being inescapable though, to be honest with you. Alright, let's go ahead and get a save here. Um, yeah, that, sure, use. Got double switches. We'll do left first. Oh, just one switch, okay. Um, let's see. Nothing else to do in here. That looks like it might be something, but... Yeah, I like the geometry of this. You know, this is a an ancient palace. This isn't random, this is kind of just... You know, a nice little hexagonic... Hexagonal, I guess. Textures. Design. Yeah, I mean, the geometry is nice. Just could use a little bit more... Uh, detail with texturing and stuff, I think. If we're nitpicking. So I hear revenants. Um, oh yeah, up here. Okay, so now this is open. Oh my goodness! I gotta have something better than... Seriously, this... Oh. Oh. It goes away. Okay. 
I was gonna say, did you forget to give me the BFG or something? Ah. Oh yeah, there's my uh potion. Wait. Uh. Let's try that again, see what that opens up. Back here. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's go. There's a little more health in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See what I mean by impatient sometimes? All right, anyway. So yeah. Um Oh, forgot about him. Get a few shots on him before he goes away. Alright, so I'll get my one bonus. Go up here. I try not to die this time. Shotgunners really did a number on me early on. Yeah, so you get a soul sphere, but <laughs> it didn't last very long for me. Um. So yeah, some people don't really like secrets that are traps. Um, I think as long as you come out with something that you didn't have, it's not, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, in this case, notable, very noticeable was 40 cells. So, um, if we've got a B, if we got a BFG later on, that could make a big difference because that's a BFG shot, right? Or I don't know. I mean, maybe I. Missed the plasma gun. There are two secrets, right? Yeah. And, um. Those guys. And I've got. Oh, that's probably the other one. Well, how do I get up there? Oh, look at that. There's a path there. There we go. Look at that. I can work some stuff out sometimes. Cool. So I got a rocket launcher. That would have been great in there. <laughs> too little, too late. Oh well. So I think we go this way now. And, yeah, of course. And there's your rocket launcher. Oh, hello. Are you gonna fight him or what? Yes, there's my answer to that. So yeah, again, it, the map's pretty linear, but I like how... how uh, suggestive it is. You know, here's that there, there's that way over there. You can always see what's coming later. So that's cool. Alright, so... Yeah. This is... I don't know, this is... Oh. So yeah, it was... Yeah, I'm not sure why those weren't just left untextured. But hey. Uh, 
All right, we'll save here. Okay, so those are raising up. Here's another shot at seeing the secret. And I guess that teleporter would probably take me back up into there. Another path right here. Or just some trim or something. Yeah, okay, well. So we'll wait for those to raise up, and I guess the Megasphere is free because I got the other two secrets and the other two items. Um, now we do keep in mind that we've already seen a cyber demon and he teleported away, so yeah. We'll try to save. Okay, there he is. Okay. And. And there's a spider. Ah. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, crap. Oh, no, that was a... <laughs> My goodness. Cell, so and I have plenty of shells as well, so I don't need to be too aggressive with these BFG shots here. Like that. That was just that was really bad. Um Ugh. I should have saved it after this all came up. That's what I should have done. Well yeah, I like a lot of things about that area in there. Um First of all, there's a, there's a, I like the darkness, it's just, it's just dark enough that, that, um, it, it, it doesn't, like, annoy you, like, ah, oh, why is this map dark, but it, it does make you, it can give you a little bit of trouble. Ah, forgot about him. Grab that. Oh, there it is. Alright, we gotta kill this dude over here. <laughs> I'd love to save three shots just for the cyber moon. Um But <laughs> more successful just doing this. It's safer, to be honest. I'm trying to kill him with 80 cells exactly. I don't like the spacing here. Oh wow, they really did a number on him. I mean, I guess I did give him a lot of shells too. But yeah, so it's interesting how the secret can really become a factor because seeing as I have all the secrets, there are no plasma guns. The two remaining enemies are the Mancubi at the beginning. That means those 40 cells that you get in the secret really make a difference. Now I ended up not even using them, but wow. 
Interesting. Um, cause uh, it's a little bit misaligned. Cause, cause yeah, I've, I've got to be done. There's got to be an exit right back here somewhere. Or yeah, okay. Well, how about that? Cool. Yeah, nice little map. Um, I think obviously visual detail is not the point. Uh, I think the geometry was was nice. I think it was set up for the gameplay, for the combat, specifically. Uh, yeah, it's interesting given uh, my opinion and my thoughts on uh, a Redapa map who often has like very precise uh, points of, of feedback. <laughs> um, but I gotta say, that I, I do like the gameplay. The one area I thought uh, might have been a little bit lacking was the bailout with the like mini cacodemon swarm because I fell into the lava and then was just basically able to get behind them and retreat um, I don't know if you'd lose much by by uh, that area being inescapable I, I, I realize there's a precedent with with the teleporters in the big area but I think the big area makes more sense that there's teleporters out of there and in that little area you know on either side of the little isthmus I think those could be inescapable but other than that, I, I really enjoy the combat. Some some nice, clever moments, like at the beginning, lure you into the armor, and then here are some more enemies to deal with. Um, just some... some The traps were, were well placed. You know, you don't expect a, a big trap like that in the secret, but but there it is. But even even though it's a trap, it, it ends up being helpful. You know, 40 cells make a big difference in this kind of a map. And then the last fight, I... I yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, you gotta kind of make hard decisions on some things. So there's a Rackatron behind you. You can fire three rockets at him right away, but then again, you know, he's gonna be a valuable infighter to you. Revenants, the same thing. You, they, they pretty much spawn right where the BFG is. You can take care of them right away. Boom. Done. But they also can be valuable infighting assets. Even the Archfile. You know, if you, if you get him to target somebody, like, for example, the Cyber Demon. <laughs> then that could be great. You don't really have to worry about him at all until the Cyber Demon accidentally kills him or until somehow he kills the Cyber Demon. So if you can get that to work, you know, so that's that's a, that's a potential decision. I opted to get rid of the Archfile right away, but I like that. I like the decisions that you can make at the beginning. Even the Sergeants, it's interesting. Um, I think a mistake that, that mappers will sometimes make is thinking that if you got a big epic fight with the Cyber Demon, for example, then you got to have a bunch of Hell Knights and Revenants and some Mancubi and you know, all these meaty projectile monsters. But uh, but projectiles are easily dodgeable. You know, if you throw in a few sergeants there, then wow, suddenly you've got a Cyber Demon. Yet sergeants are your number one target. It's interesting. So I, I thought that was nicely done as well. So yeah, obviously a lot of thought given to combat, which I would expect from someone who gives such thoughtful um, thoughts and, and um, consideration to the maps that he plays. So, all right, cool. Yeah, pretty short, nice, nice fun map. Uh, some clever combat and situations. RDSM1 underscore two.